of the new rules apply to public pools and we have told attorneys general and other people in the states to not allow these pools to open if the public pools do not have compliant drain covers and a safety backup system. Private pools are not covered by the act. So we're asking everyone, if, even if you have a private pool, to check it to make sure your family and your friends are safe as well. But there is, um, in the Virginia Graham Baker Act, there is a grant program that provides fund that will provide funding to states to encourage them to pass laws like the one we have in Florida that requires layers of protection so that you can block access to a swimming pool in the event that swim that, that uh, supervision lapses. So we were also able to get funds appropriated to to fund that grant program, and the CPSC is in the process of pulling that grant program together so we can encourage more states to ensure that they have a pool safety law. And what's important to note is that it doesn't it isn't only important in warm weather states. There's swimming that goes on all across the country, whether it's a uh, year-round warm weather state or whether you have seasonal seasonal temperatures. Uh, pool safety is important no matter where you are in the country. Congresswoman, you mentioned that we have one of the highest drowning rates here in the nation. We what do. Is, what is the rate? Well, I don't know the drowning rate, but we have uh, every year. I mean, just to, we, we've had seven drownings, and I, we have our experts here, but we've had seven child drownings under five years old just in this county this year. Seven already. And so if you do the math, we end up usually having in, in Broward County, in Miami-Dade County, we have over 20, usually, around 20 drownings every single year. Um, and I, I, so I don't know the rate, but we have far too many. We're, we're four times the national rate of drowning in, here in Florida. And the other important thing to note is it's it's not just a problem when children drown and die. You have four times as many near drowning victims who fall in pools and end up having you know, tremendous, tremendous uh, healthcare consequences, healthcare costs, brain damage. I mean, it's really, it's not just a, a problem with children drowning and dying, but we have a drowning problem for children who drown and don't die and then end up having lifelong healthcare complications as well. We thank you all for coming today. Thank you so much for attending. And pool safely.